Hey guys, this is Mrs. Janes and Mr. Jackson coming to you again uh, for this tonight's homework. Uh, so let's get started. On number one it says, before this tissue box was opened, the opening of the top was filled with cardboard. Dina is going to fill, going to wrap an empty box, an empty tissue box like this to use for her ballet box in the junior Junior High Spring Fling Sweetheart Contest. How much gift wrapping paper does Dina need to wrap wrap the entire tissue box? Okay, so first of all, we need to decide if we're trying to find the surface area or volume. So we're going to go ahead and circle surface area because she's trying to uh, see how much she needs to get, like, get for the wrapping paper. So we're going to go ahead and write the formula. So the formula is S equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times width. So we're going to go ahead and write this out. We're going to have 2 times 9 times 4. I'm sorry. Yes, 2 times 9 times 4 because if you take this box apart and lay it down into its net, you'll see that the 9 and the 4, 9 and the 4, uh, give you the area of that bottom rectangle. So then we're going to add to that 2 times 9 times 3. Again, if you imagine the net on this, you'll see that the 9 and the 3 make a, um, another rectangle on the sides of that tissue box. And then Finally, you add 2 plus, uh, sorry, 2 times 3 times 4. And again, just imagine. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Then you do, then you add 2 times 3 times 4, because again, imagine those sides of those boxes. Uh, you're finding the area of that. So you'll calculate that all out, and you'll get 100 and 50 inches square. And that is your surface area, and that's how much she needs to get um, for her gift wrapping. Okay, guys, sorry, we had to get a new page on this one. So on number eight, it says, describe how you calculate the volume of a tennis ball. Write the formula and indicate what measurements you would use to calculate the volume. So the uh, formula for the volume is one-third, I'm sorry, four-thirds pi r cubed. So to find this, you need to first find the radius by using its circumference. So you would measure around the tennis ball to get the circumference. And um, we can solve for the radius by, by dividing the circumference by two and pi. Or in this class, we just use three for pi. Um, by substituting this value of the radius and following the correct order of operations for the formula above, we are able to calculate the volume of this tennis ball. This type of tractor was used to pack road surfaces in the mid-1900s. Look at the front wheel of this tractor and determine the approximate amount of road surface that came in contact with the front wheel in one complete rotation. So for this one, uh, we underlined the keyword surface because we're going to need to find the surface area that this wheel has gone over. So to do that, we need to write our formula, which is 2 times pi times r times h. So first, what we need to do is convert 2.5 feet to inches, because as you can see in the picture, that uh, we need to change one of the two. So we're going to just change the 2.5 into feet, which will give me 30 inches, because 2.5 times 12 inches is 30 inches. So that is our H. So now we are able to do the formula S equals 2 times pi, but in this class we're just going to use 3 times r, which is 10, radius of 10, 
and then times 30, which is the H. And again, we converted that H to inches. That's why it's 30 now. So that gives you the surface area of 1,800 inches that this wheel has covered. Inches squared. Sorry, guys. Holly works in the product analysis division of fun in Sun Sporting Entertainment Incorporated. The chain showed below includes the material floor. As part of Holly's cost analysis, she needs to determine the amount of material used to make the tent. Use the dimensions in the picture to calculate the amount of material used to make this tent. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Hint. There is a missing dimension. You'll need to find you need to you'll need to calculate using the Pythagorean theorem. So guys, you'll have to remember back to what we did a few weeks ago to find the Pythagorean theorem. So first of all, I'm going to do what I um, know. I know I need to find the surface area because it's asking about uh, the material used to create this tent. So first, what I'm going to do is going to write the formula 2 times base times height divided by 2. And this is uh, the two triangles on the tent. And then I'm going to add that to 2 times length times width plus length times width. Okay, so I what I think to do first is do the two triangles, uh, find the area of the two triangles. This triangle right here and then the one in the back. So I'm going to do um, 2 times 1 half base times height or just base times height divided by 2. So I'm going to do 4 point, I'm sorry, 4 times 5 divided by 2, which doing the area of this one triangle and multiplying it by 2 will give me the area of both, which is 20 feet squared. Okay, so those are the two triangles I did. Now I need to use this hint that they gave us using the Pythagorean theorem. So I know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what, oops, sorry guys, I forgot to lock the screen. My bad. What we need to do is um, look at what we're missing. We're missing this dimension, right? Let me see if I can get my, this dimension right here. So we're going to use the height and this width to find this triangle. So we need to draw our right, right triangle that we see right here below. So the height is 4 feet. And then we, this 5 feet is for the whole thing. So we need to divide that by 2, which is 2.5, to just get, get that dimension. And then we're going to be finding the width of that rectangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. So I do 4 squared plus 2.5 squared, and then I'll, that's 16 plus 6.25 equals C squared. So I'm going to do 16 plus 6.25, that's 22.25 equals c squared. So that's kind of a yucky number to try to find um, the square root. But we're going to go ahead and um, give that to you. It's 7, um, excuse me, 4.7. We'll just round it to 4.7. And that is your c. Okay, now that we know that number, we'll give ourselves a little bit more room now. We're going to find the rectangle's area. So we're going to do first 7 times 4.7, because we just found that length, so we might as well do it now, which gives me 32.9. I'm going to do that again because I have to find the other side. So I'm going to do 7 times 4.7. which equals 32.9 again. 
And then finally, if you can remember from the question or just look above, it says, show below includes the material on the floor. So we cannot forget to do the material on the floor, which is 5 times 7 feet, which is 35 feet. Okay, so now that we have all of the areas, uh, we can add them together. So we're going to take the 20 feet from the two triangles, and then we're going to add 32.9 plus 32.9 plus the 35 for the bottom. That will give me a total of 120.8 feet squared. Okay, guys, that's approximate because remember, I didn't, um, I didn't give you the whole thing to 4.716999. That's just too much. So I just rounded it to 4.7. That's why we get an approximate surface area for the final answer. So we'll see you in class. Bye-bye.